Welcome back. I'm Howard and here we have another session of exercises and the main theme this time will be exercises laying on our back. So follow me please. Lay on your back. Just get used to the different angle and then have your arms beyond your head. And I like you to stretch out as if you can make yourself lengthier hold it there for a few seconds five four three two one arms out wide and just relax for a moment and then pull your legs up feet are off the mat and your legs are bent i like you to do this slow your legs slowly go to one side and take your time for it while you keep your shoulders flat on the mat. Now some people can bring their legs quite far, others not so. But legs on one side, shoulders flat and then turn your face towards the opposite side. In this position, please relax but maintain good deep breathing. Then when you're ready, slowly move towards the mirrored version of this position. Legs are on their way to the other side. Shoulders still flat on the mat. And then don't forget to turn your face the opposite direction also. Hold it there. Relax and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the legs back to the center. Your legs are bent, still. Feet off the mat, still. Now, do your arms around your legs. Pull those legs tighter against your chest in a way that it is not so comfortable anymore. Then lift your head and then aim for the face to meet the knee. In this position, hold it. Another five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, then come out, lay flat on the mat and recover. The legs, yes, they are together and they're straight. Your arms are straight alongside the body. Tuck, tuck your hands a little bit underneath the buttocks. And the exercise is as simple as lifting one leg. Keep it straight. How far can you lift a straight leg? Only bring it up as far while it is still straight. And when it is up there, do some little ankle rotations and change direction and then do some circles with the whole leg can you do them bigger and then change direction and then you bring it down a little moment of recovery other leg, bring it up straight, it's not about that it is higher up than anyone else, just keep it straight, now that is important, rotations, opposite direction, circles, bigger circles, change direction, And then bring this leg down. Rest. How's your breathing going? Still deep? Then bring both legs up. Aim for something like 45 degrees off the mat. Halfway, that is. Hands, put them where your knees are. It means that you have to lift your shoulders, I like to think. 
hold it there. Hold it there for another five, four, three, two, one, and then relax again. Don't forget, don't feel guilty about those little moments in between. The relaxation is as important as the exercise itself. Your legs are bent like this. Feet flat on the mat. Feet are together. The knees are together. We're going to do the bridge. Well, there are various bridges, but this bridge goes as follows. You lift your hips up high. Nice and high. Try aim for something straight. Arms are somewhere down there. Hold it for a few seconds. Let's do a 15. Another 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Are your knees still together? Great. Please come down. Recovery time. If you find the breathing a little hard while you're right in the middle of the exercise, make sure at least you catch up on your oxygen intake in the little breaks. Next one. The hands are on the back of the head. The legs are pulled up. You have been there before with those legs. Well, I'll describe it as well, but it goes as follows. We do this 10 times, at least that's what we aim for. I straighten my right leg, it is parallel with the ground, not on the ground. My right elbow aims to touch the left knee. And vice versa. That's number two. Three. Four. You know, with those exercises, very often the slower you go, the harder it is. This is number seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Wow, does that wake up your six pack? Relax. Enjoy. Another exercise. And you may like to listen to the left and right instructions also. But it starts off simple. Left leg straight flat on the mat. You don't have to worry about that one. Right leg is bent. Bring it tight towards your chest. Pull it a little bit further. There it is. Tight against your chest. Even though not hard, you should feel it. Hold it there for in three seconds. Two, one. And now take the pressure off. Please do the following thing. The left leg is coming up now too. It is bent. Position this right ankle on top of the left knee. Then with your hands, grab your left leg. Here my right hand goes actually through between my legs. That seems to work best for most. Now, I'm pulling that left leg and I will feel it here on the right side, in my right cheek. That's the idea. Depending on how, many, how much flexibility you have, how much you need this, you pull a little bit more or a little bit less. Hold this for another five seconds. Four, three, two, one, come out of this position and just enjoy a little moment of recovery. That in combination with good deep breathing. However, we have to do the mirrored version. Right leg is straight and flat on the mat. Left leg is bent, brought up, pulled up, tight. Hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one, then relax for a moment. Right leg is coming up now too. It is bent, foot is off the mat. 
left ankle on top of the right knee just like this. Grab the right leg and pull this leg a bit tighter towards you. Where do you feel it now? And now feel it in my left cheek. Need a bit more? Pull a little bit more. But wow, this is an experience. Hold it there for another three, two, one, and then just relax. Relax well. In between the scenes, we can do this one again. Arms beyond your head. Please stretch out, make yourself lengthier. Hold it there. Hold it there for another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Just relax for a moment. Recovering. Following exercise goes, as, goes like this. Right leg, or it's anyway, any leg, but it is bent. Foot for now on the mat. In this case, is my right leg, my left hand moves on top of that leg, tips it over and rolls and twists the lower body. You can use this arm as a counterbalance. Bring it as far as it goes for you. This is particularly good for all, for the lower back and all the tendons that are connected to that area. And the spinal column, of course. Time to come back. Now the other one. Okay, we come out of this position and that brings us to the end of this session. An advice, make all your moves rather slow. Don't jerk. You may take some of those joints or tendons or muscles by surprise. So they may not be used to the exercise. Let's give those muscles the time to give you some feedback if it is a wholesome thing or potentially a harmful thing. Anyway, enjoy. Thank you very much.